Hello, day walker. <laughs> okay, let me be serious with you guys. I was trying to do something funny, but eh, that's not going to cut it. But hello, everyone. I'm Shanice. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, before I get into this film, uh, first and foremost, I would appreciate it so much if you were to subscribe to my channel. I feel like you're going to want to see more of me. I'm currently on the road to 5K subs, and I would appreciate it so much if you were a part of that journey with me. Second, if you're already subscribed, please turn on your post notifications so you'll know when I'm dropping a video because trust and believe the content is coming. I can't wait for April. So many new shows and films are going to be incorporated on my channel. So please turn your notifications on. Second, so I want to let you guys know I'm always going to be honest and transparent with you guys. I have seen Blade before. But, but before you click out, I feel like some of you guys are here to see like someone's first reaction. I haven't seen this film in like since okay i'm gonna be real i haven't seen it the last time i remember watching it was before 2010 so it's been a decade and some change 12 years or so um i've seen all the other films blade 2 and blade trinity the second one is the one i remember the most and the third one i think i saw twice and i remember it was bad so when it comes to blade i've seen this film at least two times so I would still appreciate it if you were here just watching it right along with me because it's been a minute so I don't really quite remember. I just feel like I remember the end part where he was like being sacrificed and like they was drawing blood from him. That's like what I mainly remember. And to be honest that's Sanaa Lathan's mother. He's Sanaa Lathan is his mother. Yeah okay. So um and another thing. I'm sorry if this intro is long. I think I'm going to do chapters. So if you want to skip to the reaction, you can. But I would appreciate it if you just stayed for this little part and then I'm going to jump into it. Um, I was like, oh, I really wish I was wearing a Marvel shirt, a black shirt, and it says Marvel. Kid you not, I went out, did some errands, and I went into Target. And they have the shirt. Like, I have it, but I'm going to wash it because I never put on anything new right away. I have to wash it first, but... Um, when I do Blade 2, you'll see me wearing that shirt. And then I got some food with me. I have some like pasta with garlic bread. I got my drink. And if I get hungry later on in the reaction, I got snacks. So if you're watching this with me, grab your snacks, your drink. And without further ado, let's get into Blade. Ah! And then like also, I think I'm going to upload the reactions every other week or every two weeks. So I'll let you guys know or you'll see the next film Blade 2 when it comes out. But okay, let me shut up. Let's get into Blade. Oh, that vampire took a chunk out of her. Oh my god. Vanessa Brooks. Oh, damn. They say if you were born through cesarean, you were evicted, not <laughs> not actually born. That's so mean. What the fuck we doing here? I'm sorry, if I'm gonna do and he's like, I wanna take you somewhere special, and you take me where there's meat and all uh uh, I'm leaving. Screw this date. Oops, 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 oops. So they're partying in like a freezer? Wait, are they vampires? It like I said, it's been a while since I've seen it. Oh, I know he's the bad guy. I would have left. I'm like, this is not my scene. I'm leaving. David S. Goyer did this? Written by him? He did Suicide Squad. Oh, he getting head. Oh hell no! Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. You do not have to worry about me. <laughs> I'm out. I'm leaving. Never looking back again. Oh my gosh! Oh, there he is. Oh, y'all about to get y'all asses whooped. Ooh, oh, damn. 
Bop! Oh! He should have came in there with a machine gun. Oh! Did he get her in the coochie? Oh! Damn! Yeah! Damn! Oh! Too many guys. I gotta go. <laughs> I'm sorry. How you shoot all them bullets and you miss? That's him! That's him! Get him! Fuck him up! We're gonna jack you up! Make him hurt fast! Okay, let's see. I'm like, F me up then. F me up. Oh! Damn, Blade! Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, isn't that a meme? <laughs> So this isn't their first encounter? I didn't do it. I will be saying that. I did not do it. It was not me. <laughs> if I was that dude. Give her a second thoughts about us. Didn't she just say, I don't want to talk another word about us? Let me go. I know I got that good good, but like, let me go. You It reminds him of, I mean, she reminds him of his mom. But how can he remember that? He was an infant. Whoa. So they did it first before the Matrix did it. The whole leap across buildings like that. I'm pretty sure there was another film before Blade, but like that. Ooh! What's her? Watch her close. She starts to turn. You finish her off. So in this version, you turn if they bite you. Send in Frost. Is this like a vampire high council or something? Chiribus is stumpled, proto Luciano Frost. Mama Chachi Mati Auran Pauras to Prakaritsa. Okay, so they were on the low. Makes sense. Oh lord, don't let this be some Harry Potter stuff. Pure blood and then mud blood type, half blood. I was born a vampire, but you first merely turned. You may wake up one day and find yourself extinct. Was that supposed to mean? You threatened me? What's going on? See? My thing is with certain people like that, they make threats and you know they're a problem. You don't do anything to try to prevent them from causing further problems. Ooh. Why would you, why does he have that on his sword? Well, he takes it so he doesn't become a vampire. Ooh, that looks like it hurt. He hurting. Vampires are severely allergic to silver. Eat them garlic and they go into anaphylactic shock. And of course, there's always sunlight, ultraviolet rays. Still heavy. <laughs> but you're so big. <laughs> so she could still turn? I'm a bit confused on, on like how people are vampires in this version. So Blade, he was. Mm, 
It's like he was born. So Blade is half vampire and half human, right? That's why he's able to walk out in the daylight. But he still has the characteristics of vampirism. Or a vampire. Like, he takes that serum to combat the thirst, right? That's what I'm assuming. You're wasting your time. It's a dead language. The ancient text can never be translated. I don't understand when people talk to you and you have headphones on. If you know he's a problem, I'm sorry. Either imprison him, imprison him or take him out. One world demon? He trying to summon a demon? Oh, 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 hold uh oh, how you just gonna come up in my I'm apartment sorry. like that? Police officer, I didn't mean to scare you. The front door was open. You but you're still supposed to announce yourself. What happened to the other doctor? He died. Uh, no, look, uh, don't worry about that right now, okay? Don't worry about it. Why? Because you're dead too. <laughs> oh! He said we're working against vampires. Vampires? He's working with them. Who said I was a vampire, huh? Nobody. Ooh. De okay, Blade, not my apartment, though. You use me as bait? Oh, my vampires. One I've ever seen. So nobody yeah, don't see that he oh, got a cop beat up like that. <laughs> Ooh, in public? Go fuck yourself. Fuck me, man. <laughs> oh my god, sis, you let him get away. That's a big gun. There's another world beneath it. The real world. And if you want to survive, you better learn to pull the trigger. Worse things out tonight than vampires. Like what? Me? Like me. Oh, that's he's so cool. You have an invitation. <laughs> my fist is the invitation. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but Maharshala Ali is gonna have a hard time following up after Wesley Snipes. But I believe he's still gonna do the role justice, though. But he just did such an iconic job. Wait, is this taking place in New York? I wasn't paying attention to the setting. Oh, that's the ritual thing. I remember that part. Okay, I'm not thirsty anymore. Ew! 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 Pearl, your history. Have the good grace to die with some fucking dignity. Oh, that's messed up. This is a fragment, a piece of the prophecy. What prophecy? Oh, Summon some demon, blood god, whatever. Damn. Yup. Blade don't discriminate. He'll, these hands are for everybody. Oh, they're about to jump, Blade. Oh. Oh, don't do Blade like this. Oh my god! Got you fuckers at a bad time. Wow, Wesker. Thank you! He came with the the gun. <laughs> the sound effect. Also inherited their thirst. I thought the serum was supposed to suppress it. <sighs> His body started to reject it. When was the last time you stopped to appreciate a good sunrise? Oh, that's right. You were born a vampire, so you never had the pleasure, have you? He should have. He should have taken him out when he had the chance. Does Dracula exist in their world? Wait, in the third one, I think there is a Dracula. What's he doing? Oh, he's taking out his teeth. Oh, oh, oh my gosh.
Woo! Y'all should have known he was going to do something to him. Let's get down to business, shall we? I need 12 volunteers. This is EDTA. It's an anticoagulant. We use it to treat blood clots. And look what happens when I introduce it onto a sample of vampire blood. She said take a step back. You're nothing to me but another dead vampire. You're gonna wish they never cut you from your mother's- oh. God, You want to talk about vampires! Oh Oh, you brought up his mom. I said get out of here. Oh, in his bad leg too? Oh my gosh. Nice place. Took us a while to find. But how did you find it? They, I hate when they don't explain that. Or show how they found his the place. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, oh, in his face! Okay, come on! And you spit! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, 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 oh you wanna get fucked up! You wanna get. Oh! You spit on him? Oh, if someone spit on me, it's. Oh my gosh! But I forgot how he comes back. So I'm, I can't wait to see the second one again. He's like, I'm ready to whoop these vampires' asses right now. Um. <laughs> this dude is fucking bad. Like he's, he's like, he had 20 guys around him. I was there, man. He's got sheet throws at you. Then you like the sword, yeah, the sword, exactly. shit, man. You throw in the air, catch it underneath. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Ooh, look at the drip drip. Like, I love the martial arts. I think Wesley Snipes is actually a martial artist, though. Ooh. Oh, in her eye. Ooh. Oh, they're gonna explode. Oh. That's how the vampires in True Blood die. When you stake them, they just explode. Ugh, so messy. Oh, he's gonna find his mom. I remember this part. Ooh, look at Sana Lathan. Someone said I look like her, but I don't see it. Deacon welcomed me into his arms. Oh, no. Well, it makes sense. Like, why is she there? So, was Deacon the one that turned her? I mean, that attacked her? I spent your whole life looking for the vampire and bitch your mother. Here I am. Oh, is that his vampire Whatever stepdaddy? <laughs> and how can you be so cool, the mom? How could she just be? You lose your strength and your ability to regenerate. You'll be completely human. I mean, that's what he always wanted. How could you, mother? Like, really? You don't care that your son is being a sacrifice? Like. Try to understand, Eric. Your mother died a long time ago. You can back up a little bit. You're my mother and you damn near kissing me on the lips. So you just, you just lost your humanity. Like you just don't care that all these years like you had a baby and you were taken away from that bait or you guys were separated and you find out he's alive and this is how you do him i don't understand her logic oh yeah i remember this part sound like a sex scene she's saying don't stop what the heck but he gonna drink you dry what are you talking about she's like don't stop don't stop uh, don't stop. <laughs> like dang are you getting aroused by that in some vampire versions like especially in young adult novels it's like some sort of like sensual moment when a vampire feeds on you you're the last person he wants to see she changed her hair like three times since we've seen her 
You need to sit down. She shouldn't even be able to stand up if she's losing if she lost that much blood. I'm your mother. You just said oh um I'm no longer your mother. Try to understand, Eric. Your mother died a long time ago. Oh, bye. You're not my mother. You said it yourself. I must release you. Ugh, what the heck? Oh, I kind of remember this part. A little bit. Whoa. Okay. I feel like putting on my shades for this part. Right oh, back is broken down. Oh, 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 oh he's throwing at him. Oh, stop wasting bullets. She's so stupid. I'm really gonna enjoy this now. <laughs> Enjoy that. She put it in your throat. Oh, <laughs> that was quick. Oh, oh, and the nuts. Oh, oh, that. Oh, that was fire. Oh, where did you get a sword? Oh, that was dope. Wait, I saw a stunt double. That wasn't. <laughs> I hate it when I could see a stunt double. Oh! Damn! <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. Ouch! Oh, that was cool. Oh! Damn! Motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate up here. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Oh, I love that move. When you throw something and then when it lands, you kick it into something. That's awesome. Ooh. Where's the blood splatter? Should have landed on, on blade. <laughs> All <of> that. <laughs> There's still a war going on, and I have a job to do. And if we're famous, nobody's. Ah! Oh man! Okay, it brought a lot of nostalgia. Like the first time I saw this, I was like a little kid, like long, long. Long, long time ago. I ain't trying to expose myself out there like that. But you could kind of get a sense of, like, the generation I grew up in. And, um, like, basically watching this on VHS. Okay? Like, there. Okay? And, um, I remember, like, this movie didn't really scare me or anything to that extent. I just, I remember that, like, the end scene for some reason. And then obviously years later, I remember that scene and then the scene with the mom. But wow, great, great performance from Wesley Snipes. I know that he's been in other films prior to this, but this one, this was how I was introduced to Wesley Snipes. Uh, I believe he was in other action related films prior to Blade and then like afterwards, after the Blade trilogy, I know he was in one of the Expendables film. Um, I watched that only once and like, you know, he didn't really have, they didn't do him justice with that. The Expendables was all about bringing these 80s and 90s uh, iconic action like actors and whatnot, bring them all together, all from their own iconic films like Rocky and um what else uh i know they had chuck norris in one you know just all these badass characters and they brought him in on the third one i think so let me just talk about blade 
So Blade is a Marvel character or he comes from Marvel Comics, right? Now, I'm not all that knowledgeable with the comics or whatever. I'm basing it off of movie knowledge. I was trying to really pay attention to like the details of Blade, his origin, his character. Um, I'm pretty sure now that he's going to be a part of the MCU, they're going to delve more into it and elaborate it a bit more than this film did. And especially for those who never even heard of Blade or always heard about Blade, but they don't know much about him except that he hunts vampires. But um, so the way I took this version is that he is half human and half vampire. He just doesn't drink blood. But but obviously in this film, like he needed to drink blood because he was weak and he all he wanted to take the cure. But he decided that he wants to continue to hunt down the vampires and prevent something like what they just went through from happening again. But he said he said to her, um, make try to create a better serum. So, so yeah, I like Blaze's character, the complexities of his story. Him, he's definitely one of those who has like a hard exterior, but interior, you could tell he's a softie and he really does care. For example, in the beginning with Dr. Karen, he almost left her, but it was like he still remembered like the day his he was born with his mother, which I don't know how. I'm up like, how can the mother do that to her own son? So it's like all of a sudden you become a vampire and you lose all of your humanity. Okay, uh, Dr. Karen, she came through, a, a good Karen that I've heard of, you know, anytime you hear the word Karen, it, it's always related to all that nonsense, but um, I like how they explained vampirism, why they need blood, and how she, in a way, could make a cure. So I don't know if in the second one she's going to be mentioned I know she's not in the second or the third one. If they're going to kind of incorporate that whole trying to find a cure in the new Blade in the MCU. Or I don't know where they're going to take Blade. Uh, I know he's more of like the underground of the MCU of the universe. Meaning like this is like MCU dark. Like all of this stuff that happens behind the scenes just like with uh, the Defenders you don't hear much about them but all the little human conflicts and stuff that happen the Defenders take care of it whereas the Avengers take on like a bigger scale when it comes to uh, villains taking over the whole planet Earth or the universe. Whisker I, I like that he's like tough love meant to parental figure on blade father-like figure to him especially in this world of vampires you can't be soft and that's what he, blade was telling karen you can't be soft because these people and these creatures are ruthless even humans who associate themselves with vampires who want to be vampires they will do whatever it takes in order for them to become vampires so in this version you become a vampire by being bit for one or you were born with it yeah you was born a vampire and we saw the conflicts with how pure blood see half bloods or people who turn it into vampires who were bitten and I could see like that would make sense it's like I didn't ask to be this way I was born this way and then you were turned and you act like yeah like you're you're one of us, but not really because you were bitten. And again, they should have known the council that that the head guy uh, who was burnt. And I couldn't watch that scene. That was like, ooh. It reminded me of, uh, I think, Raiders of the Lost Ark when they opened it. And then all the people started melting and whatnot. If you knew he was a problem, you had the power and the capability of either, like I said, imprisoning him or killing him yourself and you did it and he got to you first. If there's a threat, trust and believe, nip it in the bud. So I kind of, I love the action scenes. I love the martial arts within this film. And that's why I said, 
Um, Mahershala Ali, and I hope I said his name right, who's taking on the mantle of Blade. He's going to be the next one. He has some pretty big shoes to fill, but you know what? I don't even really like saying that because Wesley Snipes portrayed Blade. Like, he is Blade, okay? As much as I really like Mahershala Ali, he's such a phenomenal actor. Wesley got that. Just like how no one can do Iron Man like Robbie Down. Robbie. Robert Down Downey Jr. I cannot talk right. I'm so sorry. But you know what I'm saying? Like, there's nobody who can replace Iron Man. I heard apparently that Tom Cruise, he may be um, featured in the Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness as Tom, as, <laughs> I was gonna say as Tom Cruise, as Iron Man because people wanted him to portray Iron Man, I believe, or he was up for the role. And it didn't happen, so now that we know about variants and whatnot, he can portray a certain version of Iron Man. But uh, with Mahershala Ali portraying Blade, I just know he's going to give his own flavor, his own mix, his own interpretation to the Blade character. I'm pretty sure that I like how we got, I feel maybe they should show more of like blades not like yeah like him really dealing with being half vampire and half human whisker mentioned how when he found blade he was like feeding on the homeless people and all that stuff so maybe in the mcu blade film we'll get to see a bit more of that like it's truly gonna be an origin story maybe they'll do like a different way of doing origin stories but Getting back to the martial arts, um, I, I, I wonder how Mahershala is going to do it. I, I feel like I'm saying his name wrong. I am so sorry. Um, I believe he's like really tall. Really tall tall compared to Wesley. But hold on one moment because isn't Wesley tall too? Okay, so Wesley Snipes is five foot, five foot nine. And yeah. Mahershala is six foot two and he's 48 years old okay but he's aging like fine wine so that's not a problem either way I can't wait to get into the second one because I think I like the action in the second one it was a bit more action in the second one this had decent no great action actually what am I talking about now I kind of remember that um the scene in the beginning with the blood scene, the shower, blood, rave scene. Um, I just didn't voice it out loud when I was watching it. But uh, the villain, you know, he, the actor who portrayed him did really good. I never heard of that villain or if that's one of Blade's arch enemies and whatnot. And I just realized I'm putting this out a week before Morbius comes out. And I wonder if, I don't think so because Morbius is a Marvel Sony film. So I don't think they're going to incorporate Blade in it. But I could be wrong. But either way, uh, Morbius is a vampire. Somehow in some way they're going to have to kind of mention Blade. Maybe he'll be name dropped or uh, he could make a cameo just like how he did at the end of Eternals when... Dane Whitman opened up the chest with the sword and he was like are you sure you want to do that Mr. Whitman and some people thought it was the watcher but I have a feeling in my heart it was Blade okay and I wonder I'm not saying Blade's gonna be a part of the Avengers Blade is definitely one of those people who he, he's one of the heroes that likes to work alone some people will probably consider him an anti-hero but He's a hero, just not in the sense of, like, oh, he's going to save people from harm. Like, he is saving people, but he's killing. Like, he's a hero that kills, though. So, in a way, like Deadpool. But, um, yeah, I really want to know how Blade on a greater scale is going to be incorporated into the MCU. I could see them moving forward with, like, a new Blade Trinity. I don't think they're going to do just one solo Blade film. Dane Whitman, who's going to be the Black Knight, 
is he supposed to have his own Disney Plus show like Moon Knight? Or in the Blade film, is Dane Whitman going to also be in it? Again, I don't know much about comics, so I don't know about Blade and who he's affiliated with. Any heroes or his villains. But pretty sure after this video, once I'm done, I'm going to like look into Blade a bit more. Watch some videos on YouTube and that's how I'm going to get my knowledge in that way. But if I had to rate it from a scale from 1 to 10... I'm going to give it a good solid, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I love the action. I love what, like, it's like Wesley Snipes is one of those actors, like their personality just shines through based off of the character that they're portraying. And with Blade, he is Blade and Wesley Snipes is Blade. Blade is Wesley Snipes. Like, I, I can't, it's like Mahershala Ali, he looks like Wesley too. I don't know if they're going to give him the same exact look like Wesley Snipes with the tattoos and all that. But I know he's going to get ripped for this role. I'm with the generation that grew up with this Blade. The next generation is going to be like, oh, this is Blade. Like, da 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 da, -da. If you have kids, well, if you're going to be the type... There's some parents who let their kids watch R-rated films. And I think this isn't a bad film to show... Well, you know what? The, the, I don't know. Because I was a kid and I saw this when I was little and I turned out fine. So, <laughs> But overall, 9 out of 10, excellent film. Love the more martial arts and choreography. I feel like the CGI at the end with the skulls coming out of the pure blood vampires was very... Like, it was bad, but again, this was like late 90s. So, it's like, uh, the studio or whatever did the CGI, it, it could have been a bit better. I guess that's it. I feel like there's so much more I could say, but I don't want this to be a really long video. Because these guys, these videos, the movie commentary ones, they take a long time to edit, okay? I'm recording this Monday, but trust and believe tonight tomorrow and probably Wednesday I'm gonna be editing <laughs> but it's gonna be so worth it I'm gonna have so much fun incorporating all the memes or all this like stuff in between but all right if you made it to the end of this video I would love it so much if you can leave a bat emoji I know like he doesn't turn into a bat or anything and I realized a few days ago I was watching Dracula Untold so I was thinking about doing a reaction to that movie on my channel but I changed my mind and watched it on my own time and I'm kind of glad I did it but if you stay to this very point in my video please leave a bat emoji so I know who stayed to the end if you did you are a real one please give this video a thumbs up if you happen to like my reaction this video Subscribe down below if you are new because just to believe the movie commentary, reactions, and reviews is coming. Okay, I got another series that I'm going to start. Half of it's a trilogy and then the other half it is going to be another trilogy. If you can guess what it is, and the hint I will give you is that the movie is coming out this year. That's the only hint. If you can guess what it is, I will definitely shout you out. But if you made it to this point in the video, again, drop a bat emoji give this video a thumbs up i know i said it already subscribe and you will see me in the next video bye guys